Hi everyone, it's Lynn Dion from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I want to show you a brand new release from Art Impressions. This is a brand new matchbook release and I know a lot of you are collecting these. So let's take a look at this one. This is adorable. This is the Tool Shed matchbook and you can see all the little cute little images that we get with this set. And then down below there, I'm just showing you, that is the base of the matchbook, and I will be talking about that a little bit later. And then here are the images in this tool shed, and this is just so cute. Paint brushes, the tools, the saws, just anything you could need in your workbench. So let's go ahead and start by stamping our images. I've got some Strathmore Bristol Smooth paper in my mini Misty stamp positioner. I'm stamping this with the VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and I've got my Stampendable Stamp Press to press that out. So for coloring today, I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. These are a water-based pen, and I'll be listing the colors in the upper left-hand corner as we go along. Now, if you follow along with my videos, you know I've done several videos on the matchbooks because I personally just love them. I'm collecting them just like the rest of you are and I so I will link on my blog several videos that I've done using the matchbooks. One of the other brand new ones in this series I just recently did was the cat the cat matchbook which is so cute all these little kittens it's just adorable and then I've also done the baby a get well a wedding chapel that one was really fun a Kitchen, The Coffee Shop, Santa Christmas, The Nativity, which is one of my favorite ones, a Halloween uh, matchbook. So if you follow along with my videos, you know that I've done several of the matchbooks and that I love to collect these. I just think they're just so adorable and so much fun. And anyone I've given one of these to just absolutely thinks it's adorable. They're just sort of a little keepsake. It's just a little happy gift to give someone. So I'm going to continue doing the coloring and I will put on a little bit of music for you and then I'll meet you on the other side where we'll talk a little bit about the assembly of the matchbook and there is a coordinating envelope. So I'll talk about that as well. Oh, and before I let you go, I also wanna mention that all of the products I'm using today are listed and linked down below and also on my blog. So again, I'll meet you on the other side of the coloring.
Okay, so now let's take a closer look at all of those finished images. And now we can do some die cutting. This set does come with the coordinating dies. So I'm going to go ahead and tape those down with a little bit of post-it tape. And we'll run those through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. Now these dies are going to create the little tabs that we need in order to build up our matchbook. So now we can fold on those score lines that were created when we ran this through the die cutting machine. I'm going to fold those that first set back and then we're going to fold it back one more time. So let me give you a closer look at what that looks like. And then for these two, we're just going to fold that one little tab back. And for that last one, the little uh, paint roller, we're just going to fold the tab up. That'll sit up on the front of our matchbook. So now that we have those all scored and folded, and pressed out with the bone folder, let's take a look at the matchbook template die set. Keep in mind that this is a separate die set and it will create the base for your matchbook. You have a few little extra items that are included. That's the base there. That little piece will create a little pop-up sentiment for you. There's an easel that you can place on the back of your matchbook. And then there's a couple of window styles and a few little rugs that you can also place in your scene, and then a few little icons, a star, a flower, and a little heart shape. So now here's the envelope template die set. And again, this is a separate die set. There's the envelope die there. And then you get a little mini envelope, which you can see pictured on the front here. And there's also a little bow and a little tag. So you get some nice little elements in these sets as well. So for pattern paper, I've got the Doodlebug Designs 6x6 paper pad. This is a double-sided paper, and this one is called Pumpkin Spice. I like to pull out some pattern papers from previous seasons or holidays and try to use them up throughout the year. So I thought this one would be perfect to create a little masculine matchbook today. I've got the plaid paper, and on the other side is this really pretty kind of a uh, small little pattern. So we're going to be die cutting the matchbook template first and I'm placing it down with a little bit of post-it tape. Now you do want to decide what would be the inside of your matchbook and what would be the outside. So whichever side you lay the die down on will be the outside of your matchbook or your envelope. So here the plaid will be the outside of my envelope. So let's run those through the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And now these create the score lines that you need as well. So we're just going to fold on all of these score lines. And you do want to press those out with your bone folder. Make sure you have a nice crease then that little tab folds down for the top of the matchbook. And there's also a little notch, so that's how you close this up. So that'll slide right into that little notch. For the envelope, you'll see that there's two little score lines all the way around. That will give this little envelope some dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and fold on all of those score lines. And again, you have that little excess there. Let me show you that up close. So it's about an eighth of an inch. So that, again, will give you enough dimension for your little matchbook to fit inside. And that also has a little notch on it so that it closes up nicely. Now I've got all our little pieces. Let's go ahead and start the assembly. For this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive on that tab. And then I like to smooth that out with my finger just to make sure I have some glue right up to the edges. We're going to fold that down and then lay this in the left hand corner. And you want to make sure you're not below that pattern paper. So you want to line it up along the left edge and the bottom of that corner. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. So you don't want your image to come below that pattern paper because it will interfere with opening and closing your mechanism. Now this piece here, 
we're going to push that left side flat. So I'm just showing you how that's going to go inside our matchbook. That's how we're going to glue it in. So let's take the first tab on the left and we're just putting glue on that back tab. We'll press that out with our finger and then we're going to fold that perfectly flat and that will line up in the left hand corner that score line at the left and at the bottom and again you don't want it to come below that score line on underneath it because you want to make sure you have enough room for this to fold up nicely. So once you have that in place I like to take my bone folder and just make sure I press that down so that it's adhered nicely and then we're taking the back tab again on the right hand side spreading out that glue and then we're going to fold this completely flat and then press that down into the matchbook and again I like to reach inside with my bone folder and just make sure that's attached securely so let me give you a closer look at that what that will look like inside your matchbook Next, we can hang up our little tool rack right behind the workbench. You can place this anywhere you like, so play around with that. If you want to move it around, you could always cut off a few of those little tools and place them separately on your matchbook. So you can have some fun with that. Again, I'm just using the bone folder there. And then we've got this little one that's going to pop up in the front of the matchbook. So you can place it anywhere on this front flap. Just make sure it's not going to interfere with that little notch that you're going to use to close up the matchbook. So I'm going to place it sort of towards the back. And again, you want to make sure it won't interfere with folding your matchbook. So just double check that before you glue that down. I'm going back to the same pattern paper, and I really love all these little different patterns that you get in these stripes. So I'm going to cut a few of these away. I want to add one to the flap on the inside of the matchbook, and then I'm going to add a few to the envelope as well. So I just cut quite a few of these, just kind of whatever I liked. I really want this matchbook to be uh, I am thankful for you, and I'm giving this to my husband. So I that was what I really liked about this paper pad is although it is designed for Thanksgiving, uh, I'm going to just use it to say I'm thankful for you. So let's go ahead and attach this lime green pattern across the front flap. And that just says thankful. So it's fun when you get these pattern papers with some of these other little items in them. You can use them Cut away the pieces that you like. We'll be using another little piece a bit later on, and I'll show you that here in a second. So now we've got that finished off, and then I've got a few of these left over. I did decide to add one. Actually, I'm going to add two to the inside of the card. One will be this multicolored rainbow stripe, and then right above that, I'm, go I'm going to attach, it's kind of a brown color and it says so thankful for you right above that so again that's going to add a little bit more interest to the inside of our matchbook so here's where it's fun to personalize this you could add someone's name to that little flap that would be cute you could have their age in here you could use your die your letter dies or your number dies to put their age in there so that would be fun now that little piece of pattern paper was also in this pa paper pad and I want that little portion that says, I am thankful for. I'm going to just cut it to size. I thought it was absolutely perfect for the front of my envelope. I'm going to glue that down. And then again, I'm going to add the stripes and the so thankful for you that we used on the inside of the card. And then later on, I believe off camera, I also added the lime green stripe as well. So let's start by adding these pieces. And I'm just going to cut that to fit exactly across the envelope. Now keep in mind, you could use these envelopes for other things. These are really cute. So this little size would be fun to put 
just a little tiny notebook in. You could create a little tag for this. So uh, again, it doesn't have to just be used for these matchbooks. So I will add both of these stripes to the front of the matchbook. I did the lime green one again a little bit later on. So here we're going to fold this up. So we want to fold everything flat, fold the two flaps in on the sides, and then fold that little flap up on the bottom, and then we can close it up. And now I like to wait to close up my envelope because I want to make sure that everything fits in here nicely. So once I'm completely done placing all my little embellishments inside my matchbook, then I go ahead and put some glue on those two tabs, and then I close it up. Now we'll let that dry. I'll grab my white gel pen, add some highlights here and there on all those little items. So let's die cut the word U, and I'm using the journal letter die set from Art Impressions. And this is again part of that watercolor journal series. Going back to the same paper pad, and there's this really pretty pattern kind of in the mustardy brown color. Don't worry about what the pattern is because these are going to cut out so tiny that you're not really going to be able to see that. But it was coordinating with my project, so I'm just going to go ahead and run those through the die cutting machine. And then what's nice is the little paper that we've added to the envelope has little grid grid marks on it. So this was really easy to line this up nice and straight. And then here's where I added that lime green stripe to the front of my envelope as well. So let's take a closer look at this. Let's pop this open and grab that little matchbook. Give you a closer look at that. And then again, you want to open the sides up and then pop up that little tool bench and your little items on the left and right. And then fold up that little paint roller at the bottom. Once you have everything popped up nicely, you can see you have this adorable little matchbook. And this was just so much fun. These are just so much fun to make and create. I love these. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.